Alexa Liaco. Tax season may look a little different this year for the millions of families who received the expanded monthly child tax credit payments last year. Those families may be getting a smaller refund and some may even owe money this filing season. And with the price of everything from gas to groceries to housing going up, getting a smaller refund can be a big burden. As part of a pandemic relief package, Congress increased how much money parents got for the child tax credit and let them receive that money early. Families were able to collect half of the credit in monthly installments last year, with the remainder to be claimed this tax season. But some parents received more money than they should have, and they will have to pay back the difference. The advanced payments were meant to help families who couldn't afford to wait for their tax refund, and it worked. The payments reduced the number of children living in poverty by 40% and helped three times more families than usual. Congress had the chance to extend these advanced payments, but they did not, and it's already impacting families. According to the Columbia Center on Poverty and Social Policy, 3.7 million more children were living in poverty in January than in December. That's a 5% increase in just one month. For families who are worried about getting a smaller refund this year, experts say there are options. First, check for other deductions like the child care credit or the credit for self-employed workers who pay for their own health insurance. Parents can also contribute to a retirement account to lower their taxable income and the taxes they owe. President Joe Biden encouraged Congress to support an extension of the expanded tax credit, but so far, there's not enough support. For now, the credit has reverted back to its original amount of $2,000 with no option for families to get it early. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liaco. With how difficult the housing market is right now, would you share your home if it meant more money for you? I think at this point in time, cash is really what is helpful and beneficial to people who are facing housing crisis. We're exploring the federal program that could make home sharing a reality. Next on The Race.